Is organizing therapeutic for you? Are you a messy person who likes to organize? Join the club. As strange as it sounds, it is possible. Messiness and laziness might go hand in hand, but they also might be having an impact on your mental and physical health. Enter a messy room and you'll be sure to find objects cluttered all over the place, like it's a garage sale instead of a living room. A messy habitat can affect you so badly your sleep is negatively impacted, leaving you stressed out. When you get to this point, what can you do? Organize, of course. Organizing and putting things in place can be therapeutic. It helps you zone out for a while and allows for some much needed silence for your mind. As a result, your sleep becomes better and your stress levels decrease. According to some studies, having too much of a mess around us bombards our senses with excessive stimuli. This, in turn, increases our inability to relax because of our constant elevated stress levels. The natural decline of cortisol, the hormone that controls stress, is hindered. While stress is an important part of our daily lives because it keeps us alert, too much of it leaves us unable to relax or sleep properly at the end of the day. While this is all well and good for the messy people of the world, what if you're a neat person who's experiencing stress? You don't have to be a messy person to use organizing as a form of relaxation. Organizing doesn't have to mean cleaning. For example, think of reorganizing a bookshelf. Doing so could be as satisfying as cleaning the entire room. It could also be a way of feeling in control of your surroundings, activities, or more. According to research done in the field of occupational health, you experience less stress when you feel you have control over your work. In the age we live in, it's a great achievement to be in control. Also, organizing doesn't always have to pertain to how your bedroom looks. You can gain a sense of control by organizing your calendar for the next month right down to the tiniest detail, rearranging your closet, or organizing your school notes. The recurring factor is instilling order, which the human brain is wired to respond positively to. It's easier for our brains to deal with order, enabling us to take better care of other aspects of our lives. A great way to reduce anxiety or stress before you sleep is to organize things that are important to remember. If you find you can't sleep, you could try writing a to-do list for the next day or arranging your school books according to size or class. These activities are effective because they help you relax and stop you from worrying about what's keeping you awake. It's easier to sleep better after organizing instead of trying to just fall asleep when you're stressed. Simply put, it's easier to sleep when you have a sense of control. Symmetry, patterns, and similarities are things the brain recognizes and feels aesthetically pleased towards. By organizing and putting things in order, you'll feel a sense of familiarity and calmness, resulting in pleasing you and your mind. If you enjoy organizing and have always wondered why it helped you relax, we hope this video explained why. Even if you don't relate to this, try it out for yourself and see if there are benefits. Do you like to organize things to help you relax? Leave a comment below.